hi guys you're welcome this is another day in the vlog and this is me in the car trying to wait for my daughter she's actually in a store a one-stop convenience store she's trying to get splosh <laughs> but well i know that we this summer break is really a good time that people need to network and i feel it's something that people need to do consciously because I always say make hay while the sun shines right so make hay while the summer shines so as much as you can within this time please let's gather ourselves together let's meet ourselves there are a couple of people that we've come um at the same time when we landed and somehow life has happened we've not even really crossed path because we're chasing dreams we're chasing career we're chasing so many things and you know people just get entangled with all the activities that they are chasing to really get settled in a foreign land but we shouldn't throw aside that part of us that need to network and meet ourselves engage understand you know the things that we share in common you don't know when you need somebody for one thing right so it's important for us not to throw that away and let's um, find ways in which we can engage with ourselves and just meet up with ourselves so that's being said i'm actually heading to one of our picnics there's always been one picnic or the other this summer in fact almost all my saturdays are booked i also have holiday planned out so next week i'm going to calgary abata and edmonton and i hopefully hope that i'm going to have a lot of fun but yeah we have so many things planned out but i'm going to carry you guys along all the journey everything that i have or everything that i'm going to be engaging in hopefully i'll be able to carry you guys along so keep watching i can help you so we have a picnic that we're planning to attend and i hope that we'll be able to <laughs> My dog. Help me now. open the door i can help you babe so this is a slush, 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 slush. I wonder what they're drinking is. So guys, like I was saying, we have a picnic that we're looking at attending later today, and um, hopefully network. It's just people gathering together, networking, which is really, really important in this Canada that we have come. That is that part that we shouldn't throw away, guys. Whether you're African or you're even American or you're Canadian, networking is key for us to be able to also move ahead in whatever career or aspiration that we have in this foreign land. So let's do it with more consciousness, which is very important. So I'm going to take you along the boogie as we enjoy our time out. I love to hang out and meet people. I love to also engage with people. So it's always an opportunity or something I look forward to. So I'm going to take you guys along that um, party. It's just a hangout. It's just a, you know, it's, we are just letting our hair down because it's summer. And um, it's just a time to have fun. We can't do all of this during the winter. I always say that. So this is the time for us to do it. So let's just enjoy ourselves. There's so many picnics or activities planned out almost every weekend. In fact, some weekends are so booked that we are moving to Sunday. <laughs> yes and of course when we move to sunday we are tired to start work the next day but thankfully i'm going on holiday i'm so excited about it and i'll be taking you through the journey as we move from saskatoon to edmonton to calgary have some choice places that we're going to be having fun visiting as well so guys keep watching and let's boogie the dance That is me. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> the truth is a damn hard pill to swallow. I'm reaching out, but all I feel is hollow. I want to make you work, but all I do is make you worse. The truth is a damn hard pill to swallow.
tribe you're welcome back to my channel this is sunday and it's after church we've just been out of church and at home we have a party to attend a 50th birthday party just about later in the evening but i just want to put things together for everybody to eat and then maybe relax a bit and head out for the party so it's usual practice for africans or nigeria where i come from that um People actually want stuff to be done in common, like picking the same headgear or wearing the same attire or color. You know, there's just so many things that makes the event very colorful and beautiful. So for the 50th, we have the gele, that's the ashoke that we also bought. And that makes it uniform for as many that purchase this as well. It's not compulsory, it's never compulsory, but it depends on you and how you value the person that is um, celebrating. So you just want to honor the person, you want to celebrate with the person and you do all of this. It is not compulsory. So we picked it, I'm going to show you in a bit what the ghillie looks like. That's the headgear. 
and I was having so much difficulty finding what to match with it. I had two options. I'll show you guys too. This is the headgear. It's silverish. It's got um, a ton of gold in it and then burgundy like wine tone. And it's a very light color. It's shimmery because of the silver effect. Gold, silver and um, burgundy. I was looking at what to work with it like um, my my fabric so i had this option this is also very light this is pinkish with um, silver it goes if i put this side by side you can see let me do this so um so it looks silverish with um pink and it had some beads on it i really don't usually wear this i've had it for a while but um i guess the occasion calls for it so let's wear this that's option a for option b is this really loud one this is burnt orange but it still goes well with this so i can wear this and this together so these are my two options i'm going to decide eventually what i go with i'm also considering jewelry that i'm going to be wearing to match this um, outfit i don't want um, silver silver kind of looks too close because it will just be all really light so if i find a mix like a silver and gold i can use that to match up but i i, I had a gift for my birthday from a friend that gave me a wristwatch i've not worn it so i opened it up today to see if i could wear but it was it was too big this is a wristwatch it's really it's nice it's got gold and silver would have really worked well with my outfit but the strap are too long you know when you're wearing something new you have to make sure that the band works with your wrist and you can see it was too big i need to take out some of this to give it a good fit so this won't work on this particular occasion and then i was also looking at my jewelry just something with the bling i've got this and the earrings so i will be wearing this one and that leaves me with my shoe i almost forgot that i also had these bangles it actually works with the wristwatch that was given it came as a set so i can wear this this is just a, a combination of gold and something glittery so i'm gonna be wearing this and for shoes i had this for a while hmm. i really don't like the blingy shoe thing but i just felt okay let's wear this so i'm gonna be putting this on with my outfit and for my husband, I know he doesn't have any problem. Usually he lets me pick my outfit first. Then we look for something that complements what I wear. So he will always have maybe a white or a blue or, you know, those neutral colors that work with what I wear. So we'll look for what works with his and then we'll combine as a couple. Catch you soon, guys. <laughs>